So we have to yes. do an analysis. Yes. We have to do an analysis. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Don't, don't you have to give a warning, Nick? Because one of these gentlemen for sure forgot to take their birth control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are the mean oh, streets God. of Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, <laughs> let me let me briefly give the backstory on this. Uh, this is this is uh, there's a guy involved here named Ethan Ralph. He's the host of a show called The Kill Stream, which has been a a right wing uh youtube and then once he was banned off of youtube other social media talk show uh for for a very long time um formerly he, he was the editor-in-chief is still the editor-in-chief of something called the ralph retort which is his web page before youtube where he wrote and blogged about various things i have been on the kill stream several times full disclosure uh what what was the uh, timeout legal vices I, I, so, so that was ethan ralph i i remember him like being thinner than that he does too. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, this uh, makes sense now. Okay. <laughs> I I have been on the kill stream uh, multiple times. Um, last, no, I guess it was this year. Um, no, it was last year, right before the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, thing. Um, Ethan Ralph decided to uh, to sever our friendship and relationship, which was entirely his choice. And that was a choice that he he was welcome to make, but uh, but I had always been friendly with Ralph. Um, he got mad at me because I laughed that he farted on a twenty four hour live stream, and his mic picked it up because I thought it was funny. Because uh, it was, it was very funny, and that was a gross fart, and uh, I would laugh at it again today. Um, so that's that's the disclosure of what's happened uh, between me and him. Now Ralph went to Portugal earlier this year, and when he got there, he was unfortunately. Uh, attacked in some way. I don't know the circumstances. No one knows, but he was he was pummeled pretty severely by some Portuguese people who stole his man purse. Uh, and they, um, I list that in there because it is relevant. They it was like a thousand dollar Chanel handbag, uh, or like an eight hundred dollar Chanel handbag that got stolen from him, and uh, that is something that should not happen. Now there's speculation that he may have in had a part in instigating this fight, but there's no evidence about that. Uh, it's just inferred from his character. So with that, uh, with that, he went back to, well, I should mention the context in which he went to Portugal. Uh, Andy Worski is another YouTuber who is mm. uh, family in Portugal. Ralph was mad at Andy Worski, similar to how Ralph was mad at me, for, but for differing reasons. And he went to Portugal as a taunt slash threat to Andy Worski's family. Uh, to be very clear, he has also threatened to come to Minnesota because I and uh, Mr. Medeker live in Minnesota. And he has talked about specifically going to where Mr. Medeker is alleged to live uh, mm -hmm. and being outside of his house. This is the type of person Ralph has become. So he went to Portugal to own Andy Worski for whatever weird way. And then he got beat up. And so, then, so I'm sorry, Ralph is the one who spends most of the time on the ground in this footage. Do yes. I have him right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So then this footage is from Ralph's return trip to Portugal because he got in the fight the first time, like on the first day. And so he looked like a Q-tip, like with a swollen up face uh, with bandages all over it. And so he probably didn't get to enjoy his trip very much the first time. So he went back. And the person who's engaged in a fight with Ralph, I have to be very clear on this, is um, is a friend of a guy named Cognificent. The videographer here is Cognificent. And if you've never heard of these people, you count yourself lucky. This is a degenerate and, and ridiculous <laughs> portion of the internet that should be excised like a cancer and burned like a furry. So um, uh, Cog is... <laughs> Cog is another live streamer. He's the videographer here. And he went to Lisbon, Portugal for the sole purpose of seeking out Ethan Ralph on the street uh, to do to do what's called a gunt watch. So he went there for this reason. And this is they, they located him because he was live streaming. It was kind of, you know, people can put together a location based on landmarks, right? Like mm -hmm. like anything. Uh, they they found him and had followed him. I've fast forwarded the video to five minutes in. They were following him without interacting uh, for for a, two to three minutes at this point. And then this 
inter, uh, this interaction takes place at a corner, uh, a street corner, where Ralph is around the corner uh, from Cog and his friend Dan. Okay, so, so this is what happens when purportedly grown ass men don't have lady friends. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. that's a, a a way to put it. Uh, and and here I'm gonna bag it up to right here. Yeah. So this is them waiting on the corner. Ralph is around to the right. And I do not condone or endorse any actions of any they, they've person. They've seen him at this point. So that's an yes. important context. They've seen him and they backed around the corner. Yes, they have they've followed they've followed him unintrusively. He does not seem to know that they're there. They're not <laughs> whooping and making noises or anything. Uh, and then he went around the corner, they've seen him. So here this should maybe I'll go back just a couple more seconds to give the proper context. Cause they see him and they they do back around the corner. They go back away from him. So I think that here is a good spot. He's about 5'5". Five, five. Come on. Okay, that was him. That's Ralph. Yeah. So there's Ralph again with the phone. So he's shorter than my mate. <laughs> Let's just say that. Pressing. Nah, we'll see public right now. Hey, what's up, bitch? Hey, Dick, how you doing? Hey, what's up, bitch? What, what are you doing, doing bitch? Fuck out of my face. Ralph, get the fucking. <laughs> Fuck you, prick. <laughs> you piece of shit. Yeah. Be fucking do, what? Huh? Be huh? Oh. Fucking Come on. Oh, you come out before you were a little dickhead. <laughs> that's you what fat you little gun shit. Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Fuck you, bitch. You don't want to be. Fuck you, bitch. Sweet. Oh, like shit, that's loud. Hey, you got a massive lump on your yeah. dude. I don't give a fuck. What the hell am I? Looks like a fucking. I know, right? What's going on there? What's going on there? Yeah, Ked, let's go and get some fucking smoke. I'm police and this guy. Yeah, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you really going again? Ralph, you're going to get bad if you keep squaring. Stop! Stop squaring! Don't turn your fat cunt! Why are you squaring? Don't turn your fat cunt! Fuck Boys. you, bitch! Frick. We're walking away. Now fuck off! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck walk you, we're walking away! Walk away or I love you! Walk away or I love you! Walk away! Walk away, you fat cunt! Oh no, big bitch! Fuck you! Jeez! Fuck the Portuguese are not happy. Oh, you're gonna follow. Sorry no, for that. Like, <laughs> the buffet's around the corner, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite done. It's, about, it's about to be. I'm just saying, I didn't know they made polos this stocky. It's the beefy fit. Yeah. Listen to Oh, I guess there is a woman involved here. That must be Ralph's lady. No, friend. she's a bystander. Oh, she is. Okay. No, Ra Ralph's uh, Ralph's uh, fiance is at home with their baby in the states. At oh. This point. Okay. Done. She's very involved for a bystander. Yeah. Come on, mate. She's the guy bleeding, probably. You know. Oh shit! Then they're back at it again. God, mate. Okay, so this is the end of the interaction uh, here. That's 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 the gist of it. Okay, so gentlemen, uh, I guess I guess assessment of of the reality of this uh, internet idiocy. Because because to be very clear, this is internet idiocy. This is how stupid shit happens. 
Well, if I were in Portugal, I'd be riding a motorcycle through the Pyrenees. I wouldn't be getting into fat boy fights on street corners. That's you know sure. what else too? <laughs> you can do pretty much any drug in Portugal because it's all decriminalized. They, there's no criminal penalties for drug use at all whatsoever in Portugal. Yeah, Bon bonus. Yeah. So uh, to me, there's there's several encounters that happen. There's the initial encounter <clears throat> in which um, it's it's ambiguous as to if any punch is thrown. But certainly, Ethan Ralph approaches them in an aggressive manner and yeah. gets right into the face. Yep. And uh, would you agree with me, uh, Branka, that if someone were to approach you in that type of aggressive manner, using the abrasive language that especially he's using, given the uh, the history and the the existing hostile relationship, the animus between the two of them, going nose to nose, saying, "Hey, what's up, bitch?" Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, you know, yeah. that, you don't have to be the first person to throw the punch to be the initial physical aggressor. You have to be presenting as an imminent threat of someone about to throw a punch. And that certainly looks like it to me. Now, right. that said, and it doesn't take anything away from being the in initial aggressor, if they pursued him for the purpose of getting into a fight, then there's, an, uh, you know, they, they could also lose self-defense. It could effectively be a mutual combat type of situation. Right. And there is some evidence uh, in the form of a tweet that I don't have available, but where Cog uh, either indicated it was either a tweet or another live stream segment <clears throat> where he did indicate that he was going to Portugal to find Ralph and uh, perhaps engage in an altercation. I don't know the exact words. I don't know if he was if it was puffery or whatever, but um, the 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 analysis would have to include that segment but i think that analysis would to also the extent have to it include... was known by the other party for sure right yeah. and 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 it may also include the idea that they when they found him though they did not engage i mean that'd be a fact question for a yep. jury in a self-defense analysis they go okay well we have this tweet of intent but is this is this internet uh is this internet tough guy stuff and then when they show up do we determine that since they don't attack that that tweet was a nothing burger or do we factor it in and that that can go that would go to a jury yeah so it could so, mean nothing it could mean they were mutual combatants it could mean they actually because they didn't follow through on the mutual combat that they were not actually mutual aggressors but they presented to ralph who'd seen their communications before as if they were a threat which could justify his use of force and effectively becomes defensive then um, but you you need to know that communication, what each party knew, and they're all on their right. phones. I know, I noticed. Right. So who knows? For all I know, the internet is texting them, "Hey, that other dude's right around the corner from you." You know, I so. actually think that's probably likely on his live stream. I bet there were comments, "Cogs right around the corner." Right, he's coming up behind you. Right, that could certainly be perceived as a threat. Yeah, he didn't seem to know that they were there looking, and then when they go back around the corner, suddenly. He, he comes he's around, right he's like, what's up? What's up? So it's almost like that has happened. So that's the initial encounter. And there's uh, there's just a knockdown, I believe, at that point. It doesn't look like fists were thrown in that first one. No, it's a push. And so then then he gets back up and there's a square off. And it's, it's kind of hard to determine what happens next. But at this point, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to analyze it at that point because it's well, like- The guy in the ongoing... follow threw a punch at one point for sure. Oh yeah, he definitely. Uh, there's in this second encounter okay. after he is subsequently knocked down. Um, I got distracted he, by all the belly flying around. It's so there's much, a lot of, lot of belly. It's so much, lot of belly. Now, if I tell you, you're fat. You're fat. <laughs> uh, I there is a pause frame that I might need to pull up. Freeze just frame. Do, 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 do. Uh, Freeze frame. The, 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 it's like the, the, forward button. the IHOP MMA steel cage match. <laughs> yeah, the the stand up yeah. freeze frame is uh, is bad, um, but yeah, it's it. There's a, there's a lot of questions there. Uh, now these uh, Cog and um, Dan, the the two people who were not on the ground, uh, were actually briefly arrested and detained by the Portuguese police. Um, it is alleged, I'm not sure of this, it is alleged that Ralph had reported to the police that they had knives. And when the police found out that there were no knives involved and they did not have any knives in their possession, uh, that, that they let them go. He also did allege on Twitter that Dan must have had brass knuckles or something because he got <laughs> cut under his chin. Now, 
I watched that fight a couple times and I do not see any evidence of brass knuckles. And I think if there would have been brass knuckles involved, uh, he would have been in a hospital <laughs> with much yeah, more than no. a yes. cut under his chest. Brass knuckles, they, they crush facial bones. I mean, it's yeah. completely different. You don't just get a scratch under your chin. So, so anyway, that's, uh, that's what happened. But I, I think the lesson for everyone to learn is um, if you are the type of person who someone will fly to another country to track you down and beat you up. Maybe. Just wait for it. Wait for it, legal license. Wait for it. I'm going to just... find you on the streets of Busan. Yeah. Maybe modify your approach. Uh, you, you may have some abrasiveness issues uh, involved in that. But yeah, I know. You just go the boogie route and just start blasting. <laughs> I know. I know people have been asking for, for an analysis of it. And I think I think we've given it once that first encounter is there. I see it almost as a continuous encounter until I would say the last one. And I would suggest that Dan is actually the aggressor on the, the last one. Ralph is backing away. Dan follows him. He ends up grabbing him and throwing him into the street, taking him down into the street. I think at that point, Ralph and Cog and Dan had initially communicated that the combat was over. They were both retreating and then Dan went to pursue him back. So I do think on that one, I would, I would probably find that Dan was the aggressor there that that seemed like the encounter should have been over. But, uh, but on the initial one, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit diff It's a little bit more difficult to figure out. Well, and frankly, any... just going into the street changes things, right? I mean, now there's the potential to be run over by a car, uh, it becomes a potentially deadly force encounter. You throw someone into traffic, that's not a fist fight anymore. Right, right. So but that I, was. I would uh, assume that, that Portugal is a uh, continental law system as opposed to a, a common law Anglo American legal system, which. I mean, like in Korea, Korea is, Korean law is based on Japanese law that's based on German law. And there <laughs> essentially is no right to self defense in Korea. Uh, that's wild. We, yeah. Mutual uh, combat situations. <laughs> so someone hits you, you hit them back. You've both committed assault on each other. That's essentially what it boils down to. Okay. The, you just, you just take it. That's it. That, that's why a, a lot of the foreigners here, I, you, you're just told from the time you get here, if someone fights you get out or just take it yep. because mm -hmm. you know, two people fighting, two people get charged with assault. It's like, yeah. uh, so I, I, I did promise an, an explanation of what a front ass is. And I have finally found <laughs> the, uh, that, that is a front ass right there. This is not a Photoshopped picture like in space balls when they go through the transporter and it looks like balls though. I'm not going to lie. Well, they're big though, I guess the, to his credit. Well, he carries um, a purse. I don't think his balls are that big. They're ovaries. <laughs> so, no so, ovaries. so that's, that's what so, that is. He wears like his ovaries in the you're outside. Confused about the front or the back, you know. What, what, yeah. what are we looking at here? No, th this. Okay, so you may have seen the movie Spaceballs, and when they, it's the spoof of like Star Wars and Star Trek combined. And when they go through the transporter, they come in and they're they're backwards, right? Like their their head is looking, uh, but when they look down, they see their ass. Uh, that's not what's happening here. This is actually a stomach. This is this is why he is called <laughs> the Gunt. That's what this this is. That's a that's a medical term. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, from Zimbabwe, but it's it still it still is medicine. But yeah, so that's that's what that is. If if people are ever wondering when I talk about this uh, this individual, what I'm referring to, that's that's that. So just for the edification education of the chat. So <laughs> uh, that is the person who was allegedly going to fight Andy Worski, although he has now said that that fight is off. Uh, Keemstar, who was the fight promoter, told him, uh, bro, you need to learn how to fight. I could not possibly put you in a ring with any person. Um, it just, you know, wouldn't work. So, so that is that. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.